Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This video is about fibroepithelial polyp that is also termed as acrocordon and uh, following our references for this video. Fibroepithelial polyp are also termed as acrocordon, squamous papilloma and skin tag. They are a common cutaneous lesion and uh, present in middle aged or older individual. They are present on uh, neck, trunk, face or intertrigonous area and especially at the site of occlusion where the skin may be rubbed by a skin or clothing or jewelry. Uh, they are usually uh, present, uh, present uh, on the skin crease opposite to one another and uh, here they are termed as kissing uh, lesions. Uh, they are sporadic or they can be familial the familial cases are, uh, are associated with Berthog dupe syndrome. There are fibroepithelial polyps and tumor of the perifollicular mesenchyme specialized fibroblasts associated with hair bulb. And uh, they are associated with diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, intestinal polyposis, and acanthosis nigricans. Uh, they become more sensitive or prominent during pregnancy. So it is considered that uh, they are hormone sensitive and main differential diagnosis is pedunculated seboric keratosis, dermal or compound melanocytic nevus, solitary neurofibroma or molluscum condiogeosum. Morphologically, they are soft flesh colored or slightly uh, pigmented bag like tumor with a slender stalk. They, this, uh, these acrocordon or fibroepithelial polyp are usually constricted at the base and size ranges uh, from uh, more than 1 millimeter to as large as 1 centimeter. This photograph, uh, gross picture is showing the presence of numerous skin tags and uh, they are skin colored or lightly pigmented and pedunculated papillomas. On histology, the fibroepithelial polyp are characterized by loose fibrovascular core and uh, this fibrovascular core that is uh, slightly inflamed in this particular case is covered by a thin benign squamous epithelium.